Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading, guys. Hello. Um, I just wanted to tell you that you're going to hear some squeaking because my neighbor seems to think that like the perfect, you hear that? Yeah. The perfect time to squeak is right when I'm recording. It hadn't happened all day. I mean, all day. And I knew, I don't know how I knew intuitively. I'm like, you know what? That stupid rocking chair upstairs is going to drive me up a wall. And honestly, it, it starts with you, Libra. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay, let me clear my energy a little bit. Let's, uh, let's cleanse this space here. <laughs> yeah, even my, um, yeah, everything's just kind of going haywire. Um, so I kind of feel bad for you. I kind of feel like you guys are the ones that are really kind of getting this weird wonky energy, but I'm almost getting like, you can balance this, Libra. Like, you can balance whatever is going on in your life, okay? Because it feels like there might be a lot of distractions, maybe a lot of people that are requiring time and energy that you don't feel you have. You can balance this. So let's find out your current energy right now. Wow. Yeah. Loneliness, self-esteem, and grief. Um, the loneliness, I feel, is you trying to, like, get away from people who are actually always in grief. This isn't your energy. This is you trying to get away from people like this. Look at this. See, there it is. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be too serious. You are wanting to have fun right now, Libra. And this is great. You're, you're supposed to be here to have fun. We are supposed to be here to have fun, guys. So there's a lot of people around you with heavier, denser energies. And I feel like you're walking away from them. You're trying your best. Yeah, right there. No, you're trying your best to say no and get away from these harsher energies. And I feel like that's really going to matter in, in, in the grand scheme of things. You have got to clear your energy. You've got to clear your aura because the tower in reverse on the bottom. A lot of people see you as their tower. And, and you're just, I see you're wanting to break away. I see you're wanting to break away from this crowd, from this group of friends that are not really, they don't have great self-esteem. They don't have great self-worth. They don't think that they're actually meant for better things. What is this grief? What are they grieving over? The friends here. These are friends or family. This is not you, Libra. Current energy, please, spirit, for the grief. The wheel. Six of Swords, Justice, yeah. Okay, well, I really actually kind of like that because it feels like they are watching you overcome a lot of obstacles in your life right now, Libra. There you are with the Justice card. So I am kind of getting that these people around you are just kind of looking for a mentor, but it is not your responsibility to step in and be that if you don't have the energy to do so. Um, and it doesn't feel like you don't have energy right now, Libra. It really feels just more like you're, you're spending your energy on things and, 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 and hobbies that you enjoy. Okay. Um, they might have lost something recently. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like you might have a friend that didn't get a call back from a boyfriend, or maybe they're going to, through a divorce. There's something here about fate changing for one of the people in your lives, okay? Now, if you're a cross watcher, I'm really sorry you're going through this, um, but you can't drain Libra while you do it, okay? Because Libra is really, I see right now, you're really wanting to explore who you are. You're really wanting to start, you're laughing again, okay? You're laughing, you're going through a huge glow up, and I see you wanting to pull away from some energies. Um, can I get a little bit more about why the loneliness card is here? Spirit, what other message do we have for Libra? What is it they're learning at this time while in loneliness? While in this hermit phase. I feel like it's just a temporary thing. Wow, there it is. Nurturing. It's just temporary. You're nurturing your inner self, your inner child. You're giving yourself the time that you need, Libra. This is really important. Um, I don't know how your friends are taking it or your family, but you need some time to yourself. Deep, look at this. You can't make this up, guys. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. It is time for you to feel like you have rest, okay? I know a lot of people right now um, are clinging to you. They're clinging and I'm noticing it with the justice card, which is very much your card right here. And look how many hands are trying to reach at you. 
very soon you're going to come out of this period of, of loneliness, of, of being alone, and you're going to explore who you are in the mind. And there's a, a new version of you that's coming out during this time of solid, solitude. I'm hearing the word recluse. So you're going to actually notice that a lot of your friends drop off and they're going to just not resonate with you at all. That might be something you're already going through. What kind of glow up is this? What kind of, what, what's happening? Watch your words, a parrot spirit. What kind of glow up is this for, for Libra? Ready to love again. Be healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love with watch your words. Okay, this is really nice. Clearing negativity on the bottom. I really like it because it feels like you're not acquiring bad karma. It's like you're done accruing bad karma. You're like, I understand that the things I say manifest. So right now you're really watching your words and you're not saying what you'd really like to say, which is probably to tell somebody off, I'm sure. <laughs> but you're not doing that. You're very patient. You're very loving. And you're working with angels, it feels, in this time of rest. I love it. Libra, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, and I hope you know that. And I think you are getting rest, and you are starting to learn that, okay? Now, let's find out what kind of energy is coming in to help Libra, please. New moon, promise. Wow, there's a lot of newness in this new moon card. So new moon is a time of replenishment itself. It's giving you new energy to do something. There it is. Speaking of energy, the electric eel has a lot of ideas to come to life. I wonder if this is a person. Spirit is giving you a lot of downloads, a lot of ideas about your work, about what you could do, what you could, wow, you will not believe this. Same card, a totally different deck. Look at it. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So I like that this is a double message here for you. It's like, these are very playful ideas. These are ideas that can make you money, but it feels like it's gonna be really fun to do as well. And I don't feel like right now, Libra, you're in the market so much for like money. I feel right now you just wanna have a good time. So it looks like to me, um, you're helping other people by just being happy, by just having fun, by just remembering that life is meant to be a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. I love that card. This is spirit. This is spirit giving you these ideas, okay? You're about to have fun. You're about to do something in your career where you finally, it takes off because you're having fun. Libra, for this fun card, celebrate. Truth transcends illusion. And life is a mystery. Okay, so you have been in the dark about your dream job, your dream career. You've needed somebody stable and reliable. You've needed somebody that has a really good head on their shoulders. You've needed somebody with compassion. I feel like it's Bobcat spirit here. You've needed a wise elder to look up to. And I feel like that is you now, Libra. You are coming into your own. You are starting to show people how it is to live a very well put together life. You are starting to understand the law of attraction in this time alone. And you are going to do something Something amazing with this okay it's divine karmic justice for you it really is um, these people around you that you can tell have these self-esteem issues I'm noticing that you're going to give them such a, a level of promise when you come out there's gonna be so much hope that you have to instill on in these people and they're going to be beautiful beautiful changes happening and people are gonna notice okay um, how can uh, Libra heal faster how can Libra heal a little bit quicker clarity what in the world did I just say? You're getting a lot of clarity from your spirit team in this hermit mode. So I really think right now you're already doing enough to heal. Um, you might want to look into some uh, um, clear quartz, some sort of crystal for clarity, like your third eye. That would be really good. Um, maybe some, let's see, amethyst maybe, pearl, some opal might be good. Something to really enhance your psychic abilities, okay? Because that's what I feel you need at this time. Empowerment. Like I said, you're going to come out of this really assisting other people and getting out of the dark night of the soul. Um, there's something that you need as a leader, Libra, and it's, it's some sort of um, 
assurance that what you're doing is very much empowering people. You might have been finding recently that people were not telling you how much you're actually doing for them, okay? I feel like the 11th, on the 11th, something important happened to you. I'm, I'm seeing the number 11 right now, and I know that this is your card, but they're showing me on the calendar the number 11, so I don't know if 11 means anything to you, but I feel like people didn't tell you. Maybe this is another Libra you're dealing with. Somebody didn't tell you how much you're actually doing to hope uh, instill hope and empowerment in these people. And so I feel like what you're doing is you're taking your time to go within and figure out how to come back refreshed in order to try to convince them once more. Now, you're not going to have to convince them. Your energy will convince them for you, okay? You don't have to do anything. It's just, you're just going to beam. You're just going to be extremely uh, overflowing with your own love, okay? What, what do you need to avoid at this time? What does Libra need to avoid at this time? Wow, guys. You really need to avoid contact coming in from the emperor type. So this could be an Aries in your life, but I'm really kind of getting, these are communicative talks with people who are a little bit too rigid for you. You're the high priestess. You are a lot more go with the flow because the high priestess is very, very receptive to spirit, very flexible, very moldable. And here with the Aries, you have the exact opposite here with the emperor. This is somebody who is just, they do not go with the flow. They normally do not, um, listen to other people. I hate to say it, but the emperor doesn't get to be the emperor by listening to everyone. So right now you might find that there are a lot of kind of ruthless people who are still kind of combative with their words. I'm getting this emperor card is an energy. Okay. It's an energy of somebody you want to avoid. It's like somebody who's not going to ever change their mind anytime soon. And with the high priestess, again, this is something I said, you need a clarity courts. You need some sort of, um, Quartz, like rutilated quartz, clear quartz, something like that would be really good. But again, I'm getting your third eye. It's something about your third eye and your, your crown chakra that really needs to be um, really needs to be looked at here. What to avoid with that Aries with the Emperor? Failure. Yeah, I understand that a mistake is on oh my look. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Again, this emperor does not learn. They don't want to learn. So there is someone around you who's kind of embodying this emperor energy, and this is something you're going to have to really avoid. Uh, relationships, yeah. Relationships with these people right now might be a little bit fractured um, because I feel like they don't want to hear what you have to say as the high priestess right now. So that may be something you're dealing with, Libra, that you really need to avoid. All right, let's get some spirit advice for you. Well-being, I love that. Well-being on the bottom here. Spirit advice for Libra. Animals. Spirit God, I was going to say, I think they're coming in to comfort you. There are animals around you right now, Libra, that are trying to telepathically communicate and give you this acknowledgement that you are really empowering people, that you are really helping other people, and, and you're assisting the collective in this way feels like to me the spirit guide is coming through maybe a dog cat bird and it's like they are really deeply connected to you okay this could be your very own pet but maybe it's birds maybe it's bees there's something outside as well maybe doing this to you connect with nature this is a perfect opportunity for you to start realizing who your spirit team is and what they want to do to help assist you okay so let's find out a little bit more about spirit um, advice for you overall right now libra shape-shifting, clouds, things are changing. You just can't see it yet, okay? I know you feel a little bit stuck, a little bit lonely, but you, things are changing. You are going to have this, oh, I love it, the bird here, the eagle, communion. Again, you're talking with your spirit guide. You're communicating with animals right now, too. That's really important. Um, and it feels like, to me, yeah, stillness. Right now, this is confirmation that you are supposed to be still. You are supposed to retreat. You are supposed to have some time to yourself at this time, okay? I really feel that that's very crucial, Libra. It's time to take a time off. It just has to be a couple days. I don't even think it has to be that long. Um, but yeah, this is very much a confirmation that this stillness is what's going to assist you in shape-shifting. So you're going to come out of this hermit mode. Everybody's going to be looking at you like, what have they just done? And it only takes a couple days because I feel like what you're doing is you're unpeeling like, a, like an onion, you're unpeeling who you really are to unveil the real truth. Um, 
this person that was on the outside, right? This like ego, this, this, this facade, this mask. It was literally because of these people around you who are having self-esteem issues. It's almost like you tried to blend in with that crowd, but that is no longer going to be the case. You are coming out a leader now, Libra. Okay. You're coming out a leader, a beautiful divine ray of hope, and you're about to shine very brightly and show people exactly what you can do. I love you so much. If this reading helped you, please give me a thumbs up guys and subscribe. Okay. Um, I'm going to give away two free personal readings on this channel at a thousand subscribers. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.